Kamusta? Ready ka na ba para sa lesson natin ngayong week? Welcome to our math class. Before we start, here are some reminders. I-ready ang iyong ball pen, answer sheet, at ang iyong module. Basahin at tunawain maigi ang instructions sa bawat learning task. Iwasang magusot, madumihan, mapunit, at higit sa lahat ang mawala ang iyong module. Magpagabay lamang kay lamami, daddy, ate, kuya, o kung sino mang nakatatanda sa iyo. Ikaw pa rin dapat ang sasagot sa bawat learning task. Huwag kalimutang isulat ang pangalan at section sa iyong answer sheets. Pwedeng ipos ang video para mas mabasa o maunawaan mo ang instructions. Kung may tanong, gaya nga ng sabi ng Lola Nicardo, huwag mahihiyang magtanong. This week, ang pag-aaralan natin ay ang Finding the Common Factors and Multiples o mas kilala sa tawag na GCF and LCM. After this lesson, you are expected to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple of two numbers using the following methods, listing, prime factorization, and continuous division. Para simulan ang lesson natin ngayong week, tignan natin itong problem na ito. Leo wants to cover a 30 cm by 40 cm cardboard of identical square paper. Can you help him find the largest possible square to cover his board? Sa paghahanap ng GCF, meron tayong tatlong methods. Listing method, factor 3, at continuous division. First one is by listing method. Isusulat lang natin ang factors or numbers na kapag minultiply natin, ang magiging sagot ay 30 at 40. Unahin natin yung sa 30. 1 times 30 is 30. Ano pa kayang numbers na kapag minultiply natin, ang sagot ay magiging 30? 2 times 15 is 30. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 6 is 30. Next naman natin is yung 40. 1 times 40 is 40. 2 times 20 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. 5 times 8 is 40. Hanapin lang natin yung magkakaparehas na factors ng 30 at 40. 1, 2, 5, at 10. Ang tawag dyan ay common factors. Pero, ang hinahanap natin ay yung kanyang greatest common factor. So, ang pinamalaking number is 10. Kaya, 10 ang greatest common factor ng 30 at 40. Next method is by factor 3. Isusulat lang natin ang mga factors ng numbers. Unahin natin yung 30. Anong numbers ang pwede natin i-multiply para makakuha tayo ng 30? Testing natin yung 2. At 15, yung 2 ay prime number na. So, 15 na lang yung hahanapan natin ng factors. Ang number na pwedeng i-multiply para makuha ng 15 ay 3 and 5. Parehas na silang prime number. So, titigil na tayo dyan. Next natin is 40. Ang numbers na pwede natin i-multiply para makuha tayo ng 40 are 2 and 20. Hanapan natin ng factor ang 20. 2 times 10. Factor naman ng 10. 2 and 5. Ngayon, bilugan natin lahat ng prime numbers. Pagkatapos, isusulat natin ang prime numbers ng paganito. Hanapin natin yung magkakaparehas na prime factors ng 30 at 40. 2 and 5. Then, imumultiply natin sila. 2 times 5 is 10. So, ang GCF ng 30 at 40 using factor 3 is 10. 
Third method is by using continuous division. Ililisan natin ang numbers na hanapan natin ng GCF. 40 and 30. Tapos, talagin natin ng line na parang ganito. Iisip tayo ng prime number na factor ng 40 at 30. Unahin natin yung pinakamababa. 2. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Isip ulit tayo ng common factor kung saan pwede divide ang 20 at 15. Itry natin ang 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Since 4 at 3 ay walang common factor, kaya we need to stop. Itong dalawang number na nasa left ay ipagmumultiply natin. 2 times 5 is 10. Kaya ang GCF ng 40 at 30 using continuous division is still 10. Ngayon naman, let us find the LCM of 18, 24, and 36. Sa paghahanap ng LCM, meron din tayong tatlong methods. Listing method, factor 3, at continuous division. By listing method. Sa method na ito ay parang tayo nag-skip counting. Ililist na lang natin ang multiples ng 18, 24, at 36. Unahin natin yung 18. 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126, 144, at 162. Next natin ay yung 24. 24, 48, 72, 92, 120, 108, 168, 192, and 216. Next is 36. 36, 72, 108, 144, 180, 216, 252, 288, at 324. Hahanapin lang natin yung mga pagkakaparehas na multiple. 72, 144, pero ang pinakamababa niyang multiple ay 72. Kaya, yun ang ating least common multiple. Next method naman ay factor 3. Save lang sa ginawa natin kanina. Isusulat lang natin ang mga factors ng sumusunod na number. 18 2 times 9 Yung 2, since prime number na siya, wala na siyang factors. Yung 9 ay may factors pa. 3 and 3. Ang 3 ay prime number na, so wala na siyang factor. Next, 24. 2 times 12. Yung 12, may factors pa. 2 times 6. 6 ay may factors pa. 2 times 3. Next, 36. 2 times 18. Factors ng 18 ay 2 times 9. Factors ng 9 ay 3 and 3. Bilugan ulit natin ang mga prime factors. Isulat natin ng pantay-pantay ang mga numbers. Then, bilugan natin yung mga kaparehas na factors. At isulat natin ito once. Yung walang kapartner ay isulat din natin. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Ang sagot ay 72. Last method is by continuous division. Same lang sa process natin kanina. Iisip lang tayo ng prime factor kung saan pwedeng i-divide ang bawat number. Testing natin sa pinakamababang prime factor which is 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Sunod na mas mababang prime number na pwede silang i-divide ay 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Tayo natin sa 2. Since hindi natin pwedeng divide ang 2, sa 3, 
Ibababa lang natin ito. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Try naman natin sa 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Since hindi pwede itong i-divide, ibababa lang ulit natin ito. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then, final and last step is ipag-multiply natin lahat ng nasa kaliwa at nasa babang numbers. 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 1 times 2 times 1 is 72. Yon ang kanyang least common multiple. Learning task 1 sa page 16. Find the common factors and at least 3 possible multiples of each number using any kind of the methods. Write your answers on the answer sheet provided. Learning task 2 sa page 16. Find the GCF and LCM of each number using any of the methods. Learning task 3 sa page 16. Solve the following problem using the concept of LCM and GCF. Learning task 4 sa page 16. Find the LCM of each number using factor 3. Para sa ating final learning task sa page 16, find the GCF of each number using continuous division. Sa paghahanap ng LCM at GCF, meron tayong 3 methods. By listing, using factor 3, at continuous division. Sana ay naintindihan mo ang lesson natin. See you next week!